welcome to my channel. My name is Edith Delight and I am a medical esthetician. So for those of you who do not know me, I dedicated my career to helping people with tropical skin. And this is a niche that has really been underexploited. And I've set out seven years of my life to do a clinical research in the tropics to make sure that we have what we need for tropical skin care. So if you have tropical skin, meaning if you have melanin rich skin, or if you are a person of color, nine times out of 10, you would need tropical skin education. And this is why I'm here. So today we're gonna to be focusing on chemical pills, okay? And this is a very interesting um, topic for me because first of all, I really like the cosmetic chemistry part because I like to get my hands dirty a little bit in the lab. And uh, when we talk about chemical pills, it's all about that, okay? Now, we can't talk about chemical pills without understanding why do we use chemical pills? What are they for, right? Um, during the course of my career, I've seen a lot of people using chemical pills. And what is a chemical pill? What, what is it supposed to do then? A chemical pill is used for skin regeneration, okay? So, or let's say for exfoliation. Now, a lot of you guys, I'm not sure, but you guys know what exfoliation is. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's just um, removing dead skin from the surface of your, of your skin. So when you say exfoliation, nine times out of 10, people would talk about using scrubs or using um, whatchamacallit, foams and you know sponges to kind of scrub your skin. You know how people do that? Or using abrasives, you know, like the scent eyes or, you know, all of this stuff, Neutrogena, the scrub. That's just what it is. That's exfoliation. But now a chemical peel is kind of like exfoliation on roller skates or on steroids. Okay, so it's a higher level of exfoliating your skin. The difference, again, is it is non-abrasive. So a chemical peel does not need to have the grains in them because the chemical in itself is designed to break down the cell, the bonds that hold the cells together so that those dead, the dead skin cells can actually shed off because the bonds have been removed. Okay, that's why chemicals, chemical peels are usually acids, okay, because they're designed to remove the bonds and let the cells just drop without necessarily scrubbing. So if you think about it, it's actually the best method of, of exfoliation if it's used properly, okay? Because remember, I said nine times out of 10, your chemical pill is going to be acidic, meaning you need to know what you're doing when using an acid on your skin because again, it is aggressive or it can be aggressive and it can actually cause a bigger issue if you don't know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing using a chemical pill, you would get a better result than using an abrasive or a scrub. Whenever you use a chemical pill and it's just all over your skin, it's gonna dissolve naturally and it's gonna shed naturally. It's gonna loosen the bonds between the cells and just let the dead skin fall off without, you know, without any struggle, if that makes any sense. So whenever you have those dark knuckles and elbows and knees and all of that, you have had, that, that is hyperpigmentation. Your skin has become hyperpigmented. The treatment for that is not necessarily a chemical pill because the fact that it's that does not make it dead skin. Chemical pill is designed to remove dead skin, not necessarily hyperpigmented skin, okay? So when you introduce a chemical pill trying to remove the dark knuckles, what you're doing is inflaming it further because you have a situation of hyperpigmentation and you are continuously exfoliating with a chemical peel that has already removed dead skin cells or is gonna remove just whatever is dead skin and that's it. But continuing to use the product in an attempt to remove the darkness is just gonna make your skin even darker, okay? Because again, chemical peels are designed to only remove dead skin from the surface of your skin. So with this education, I want to advise you guys, if you're gonna go get a chemical peel, the first thing you wanna know is number one, what is the state of my skin? Can my skin handle a chemical pill? What kind of pill am I wanting to do? There are different kinds of chemical pill. And for people of color, people like us, people with melanin-rich skin, people with tropical skin, 
I advise only stick to the alpha hydroxy acids. Okay, there are five of them, and I'm going to talk about that in another video because I don't want to confuse you guys. But stick to the alpha hydroxy acids because they're derived from fruits and plants and vegetables. And you want to stick to the percentage that will that your skin can handle. Because sometimes, you know, when we come from, especially those of us who come from the tropics, a lot of times our skin is already susceptible to damage because of continuous sun exposure or whatever. Your, your skin, when your skin is not where it needs to be as, at its best, my advice would be make sure you're doing a proper skin analysis to know the state of your skin so you can choose the right kind of alpha hydroxy. Like I said, there are five. Say for example, if you had, if your skin was at a 50%, okay, as far as inflammation or health goes, I would advise do not use a glycolic acid because that's like the most aggressive um, alpha hydroxy. I would advise probably use maybe from anywhere from the lactic or maybe a mandalic or something like that, okay? So you want to make sure you go to a professional who knows what they are doing, okay? And if you don't have any professionals around you who know what they're doing and you, you really just want to do something about your skin, please leave a comment. Send me, uh, uh, I don't know, not a DM because we're on YouTube. Go ahead and leave your comments and I promise you guys, I'm always going to respond to you guys if you are on my YouTube channel and you're leaving me a comment. I'm going to make sure that you get a response, okay? So that being said, I just want you guys to not continue making these mistakes using chemical pills. I have received so many pictures of people who have been burnt and damaged and you would agree with me, any one of you who have tried using a chemical pill before, Whenever you use the chemical peel and your skin begins to peel, of course, when it's peeling off, it looks like, oh, it's gonna be fine. A few days down the road, it starts getting even darker. You would agree with me, that's what happens. Because again, there was dead skin that shed it off initially when you did it, but there was also aggression that happened. And every time there's inflammation, you're going to get hyperpigmentation because that's when the inflammation cascade is triggered. That's going to happen. If you have any more questions, anything pertaining to chemical pills, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I'm going to talk some more about salicylic acid because that's a BHA and it's tailored to acne. When we talk about acne, I'm going to talk about a chemical pill, salicylic acid, because that's something different as far as like treatment for acne goes. But... I hope this helped. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so you can get uh, notified every time I drop a new video. Thank you for watching.